So now it's time to learn how to add CSS to our project so that we make this page look better. So what I'm going to do is that here, I'm going to teach you how you can add CSS. First of all, we need to create a folder that's going to hold our styles. So to create a folder here in the app, in the uh, blog, we need to create a folder here called new folder called static. Static. It must be, it must be named static. And then inside that folder, we need to create another folder and it must be blog. It must be named the same as the name of the app. So the name of the app is blog. Therefore, I'm going to name it here blog. So now we have a folder called static. And inside that folder, we have a new folder called blog. Now in that blog, we need to create a new file. And that file is going to be the style style.css. And here is going to go our style code, our CSS code. But the question, the most important question is, how can we import this in the index? How can we tell Django, hey Django, we have this style.css and we want to use it here. How can we do that? To do that, we need here to come over here in the um, head and, the, and then we need to add this piece of code. We need to add curly braces and then uh, percentages and then load static. And what this code is going to do is that this code is going to load the static folder. And then below this code, we need to say link and then rel style sheet, style sheet, and then the, the uh, type. And then href, and then the href is going to be uh, here, curly braces. And then inside those curly braces, we need to say uh, we need to say uh, percentages, and then we need to say static again, and then static. And then inside single quotes, we need to say here, we need to say blog, and then forward slash, and then style.css. So what I have done here is that I have loaded here the let me here close this. The style that CSS, which is inside, which is inside the blog, which is inside the, which is inside the static. This one, this one. The style that's inside the blog, that's inside the static. Now let me save and let me now add here the, some style uh, to this H1. So for this H1, what I'm going to do is that here I'm going to say H1, and then I'm going to say uh, background color background color let's say uh, brown and, the, and then the color the color itself is going to be white now let me save and head over to the browser and refresh if I refresh nothing is going to happen why? because we need to restart the server this is very very important and many Django developers fall into this trap you must whenever you change Whenever you create something like this, something something new, such as creating a folder, folders and files, you need to restart your server. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to uh, restart my server. I'm going to here open up my terminal one more time, and then I'm going to start my server. I'm going to restart my server. And here, if I run this, it's going to say uh, it's going to give me this. Uh, this URL. So let me now head on over to the browser and go to 8000 and refresh. And as you can see now, the styles, the the uh, the styles now uh, took effect. As you can see, this is Django app, and the background color is uh, brown and the color is white. So as you can see, this is how we can add CSS to your project.